Hello and welcome. My name is Summer Day and I'm going to be your yoga teacher for today's practice where we are moving through a beginner flow with the focus on transitioning from a downward facing dog through to a lunge, whether that's a low lunge, a crescent lunge, or moving into a warrior two. I remember when I first started yoga, I didn't understand how people could get their leg all the way to the top of the mat without helping it with their hands. Now there is nothing wrong with helping your leg up to the mat, but if you're someone that wants to find your flow and you wants to learn how to get there, this is the practice for you. Now let's warm up our body and then we'll slow it right down when we get to that part of the practice. So coming to a comfortable seated position on your mat, hands can come to the tops of your knees, sitting nice and tall and just close down your eyes. Now if this isn't comfortable for you, you can just drop your gaze down towards your mat. beginning to really soften your shoulders, allowing them to fall away from your ears and then allow that softness to just melt over your body. So relax through your belly, the front of your hips, relax through your jaw. And now this softness that's in your body, it moves into your breath and just feel your breath here. So taking yourself away from your day and just being with your breath. How does it feel in this moment? Breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose. And we will use our breath today just to move from pose to pose and it just brings us back to our practice. Using it as a tool for mindfulness. So together let's take a deep breath in and a clearing breath out. Now you can keep your eyes closed or gently flutter them open here. As you breathe in, sweep your arms up, reach and lengthen. And as you breathe out, twisting over to the right, your gaze rolls behind you. Arriving here softly, we're just warming up the body. Taking your right hand by your side, sweep your left arm up, breathe in. And as you breathe out, your left hand finds the floor, your right hand follows. So you're finding a fold here, maybe you're on your hands, your elbows, or you might be able to melt all the way over. Forehead might drop down to your mat or just hover just above. And in this fold, I just want you to send your breath into the back of your body. And slowly lift your gaze, walk your hands back to your hips and just change the cross in your legs. As you breathe in, sweep your arms up. And as you breathe out, twist over to the left. Your gaze rolls behind you and just arriving here gently. And taking your left hand by your side, sweep your right arm up and over, breathe in. And as you breathe out, sweep your right arm out in front, finding your fold. And you might notice this fold feels a little different. Just that simple cross and change in our legs. You can find different areas of tension and tightness. So if this is you, don't worry about that. Just listening to your body and checking in here. Slowly lift your gaze as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, walk your hands back. You're going to roll over into your tabletop position. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest into your cow. Exhale, roll through your spine, press the floor away. As you tuck your chin into your chest, this is your cat. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, roll through your spine, press the floor away. Now here I invite you just to close down your eyes and begin to flow with your breath here. So one breath, one movement. 
Really inviting space into the back of the body. And this cat and cow motion is something that we'll use when we come into sweeping our legs through, especially our cat, finding space through our upper back. Moving through one more cat stretch. And then bringing yourself to centre, bring your knees to touch, feet to touch, and melt back into an enclosed child's pose. Wrap your arms around yourself, forehead drops down towards the mat. Now I want you to find that rounding through your upper back. Allow your shoulders to be so heavy, they feel like they're dropping down towards the floor. Let's take three deep breaths here. Feel free to... Close down your eyes and just drift away for a moment. Exhale here in your child's pose. Now from here, you're just going to slowly make your way to your tabletop. So walking your hands back underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tuck your toes, fly your hips high, downward facing dog, and begin to pedal through your heels. Invite space into the back of your body. Now be mindful not to round through your upper back here. We want a nice flat back, push the floor away, lift your hips, even if that means your tippy toes are just on the mat. Don't worry about your heels dropping down. So big pedals, wiggles, twists here. And then grounding down through your hands, just settle in stillness. Coming back to your breath as you breathe in, lift your hips, come to your tippy toes, roll and peel your body forward into your high plank. Now, if you can see me now, I'm not flat here. I'm not dropping through my, my belly. I'm pushing the floor away, rounding through my upper back. Now, as you exhale, flare through your tailbone, roll back downward facing dog. Well done, let's do that again. So inhale, lift up to your tippy toes, roll, roll, roll forward, push the floor away, high on your tippy toes here, and then melt back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, drop your knees, sit back on your heels and just shake out your wrists. Roll them out. A lot of strength comes through our arms in yoga, especially if you're not used to it, your wrists can feel a bit tender, so be kind to yourself. Now, the reason why I'm wanting you to roll forward and open up through your upper back is to create space when we bring our leg through in, in the practice later today. So I'm just gonna show you here. Let's say I'm coming into a low lunge. If I come forward with a flat back, there's not much space here for my leg, okay? If I roll up to my tippy toes, arch through my upper back, look at all that space, I can lift and flick my leg through. Ah, makes sense, doesn't it? All right, so let's do that one more time, that big roll through our body. Then we'll find some space through our hips and we'll practice sweeping through. Now, I'm not promising it's gonna happen the first go, but practicing that space of opening and closing through your upper back will help you with your lunge. I know, right? Okay, downward facing dog, let's do another roll. As you inhale, lift up to your tippy toes, roll forward, roll, 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 roll and then shift back downward facing dog. Well done, looking good. Now as you breathe in, sweep your right leg up, three-legged dog, bend your knee, open your hip here. Nice. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, drop your right foot down, down dog. Inhale, left leg sweeps up, three-legged dog, bend your knee, open your hip. Now push the floor away with your hands. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, downward facing dog. Drop your knees, sit back. This time, allow the backs of your hands to come down onto your mat. Relax through your shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. I think we're ready to sweep through. All right, let's give it a go. Set yourself up into your downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg lifts three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, 
sweep through low lunge. So bring that right knee into your chest, lift up to your left tippy toes, round through your upper back and flick it forward, low lunge. Nice, now adjust yourself, drop down through your back knee. If your foot is still back here, that's okay. Help it through, ankle underneath your knee. Plant down through your left hand, reach up with your right arm. Breathe in. As you breathe out, circle your right arm behind you. Step back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, the left hand side. Inhale, lift your left leg up, three legged dog, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left knee, pull it into your chest, lift up to your right tippy toes, round through your upper back, pull, 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 flick it forward, adjusting yourself here. If your foot is back here, help it forward, well done. Plant down through your right hand, reach up through your left. Ah, easy twist, breathe in, breathe out, circle your arm back, step back, downward facing dog. Drop your knees, child's pose. Well done, everyone. Take three deep breaths. Now take another moment here, but we're just going to roll through that one more time. So begin to set yourself up, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg lifts, three-legged dog, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, sweep it through, low lunge. How did you go? Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, allow your arms to melt down. Step back, downward facing dog. Left hand side, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, sweep it all the way through into your low lunge. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, your hands melt down. Step back, downward facing dog. Walking into your rag doll, your forward fold, a nice big bend of your knees. Allow your arms just to drop down onto your mat. Shake out your head. Let everything go. Maybe a smile comes to your face. You've done so well. And then crossing one leg behind, we're gonna to come to a nice comfortable seated position on your mat. Now, you can have your legs crossed, but if you have a little bit more space through your hips and your inner thighs, bring the soles of your feet together. Right hand comes to your left knee, left hand comes to your right knee, and then you're gonna pull your knees away, tuck your chin to your chest, and find that space through your upper back. A little rock from side to side. And then whatever arms on the top, you're gonna to change over. So if your legs are crossed, you're doing the same thing. Tuck your chin to your chest, a little rock from side to side. And then bringing yourself to center, finding a comfortable seated position, roll your shoulders away from you, sitting nice and tall. And bringing your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly, close down your eyes here taking a moment to thank yourself for arriving to your practice today, to giving something new a go. And just soaking up all that goodness you've created on your mat. And from here, with a little soft smile on your face, repeating to yourself mentally, I have a peaceful mind, a loving heart, a healthy body, and a joyful soul. Taking a deep breath in and a clearing breath out. Your palms of your hands touch, take a little bow here. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed today's flow. This is going to be a regular thing coming out on Fridays. I would like to bring out 
more tips and tricks to help you progress in your yoga practice. So if you have anything that you are working towards or something that you would like me to slow down like we did today, please comment below and make sure you subscribed if you enjoyed today's practice. I'd love to see you back here. Now have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Mwah.